Uh, what I'm showing you here is a ProWarm uh, room sensor. It uh, goes along with the underfloor heating system and is very difficult to actually calibrate. Uh, what actually happens in reality if you set the temperature, let's say a set point of 21 degrees, you'll actually find that uh, the sensor will, or the controller, will switch itself off when the actual room temperature is about 3 degrees less than the reading on the ProWarm controller. And the reason for that is this. The ProWarm sensor will plug into this base plate, which is attached to a single gang box in the wall. Now the reason for the sensor reading a higher temperature than the actual temperature is simply to do with here. In here is a transformer, which will take it from the 240 volts down to 12 volts for the actual control itself. What happens is, in this area here, this becomes very warm. The heat then is transferred to the thermistor sensor on the controller. Just here is the actual thermistor, which is the temperature sensor. So as you can see, the printed circuit board here is directly behind the plastic cover over the transformer. The result is the thermistor sensor is picking up heat from this area, from the transformer, and giving about a 3 degree higher reading than the actual reading. So this is very very misleading this because if you set the temperature then say at 24 degrees because you want 21 degrees initially at the start of the day that will be fine but as the day progresses and the room warms up everything then becomes equal so it's at the start of the day, for example, after a, 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 a cold night where the room temperature may have dropped to 16 degrees and you want 20 degrees by, say, 8 o'clock in the morning, you will frequently find that you're 3 degrees lower than what your desired temperature or your set point actually is. So there needs to be a way of insulating the, the heat from the transformer so it doesn't affect the actual thermistor sensor. Uh, the way to uh, try and reduce the effect of the heat from the transformer in reaching the thermistor is to put a piece of insulation material. Uh, the, the white side actually, if I remove that, that's uh, sticky back, but I'm going to leave that on there. And then what I'm going to do is to place the insulation just into into that section there. And I've already proven this that it actually works. So this will now prevent the heat from reaching that thermistor. And it's quite easy to do. I, I just cut it from a, a a length of insulation like this, uh, which is basically off some sound insulation or well, heat or sound insulation that I had. So just trim it down. If it's a little too thick, just with a sh very sharp knife, you can reduce the, the thickness of it. So in like that and clip that back onto the, the base and that should do the trick. Okay, let's switch this back on and then we'll get a temperature readout. Well, reading 19 and a half, 18 and a half. Okay, let it stabilize for a moment. Using another device here, I've got an actual reading of 21.2, and this is a very accurate uh, thermometer. So we might just have to uh, calibrate the, uh, the ProWarm 
uh, up to the actual reading uh, that I'm getting from the thermometer. So we let it stable and then we'll make sure that both uh, the pro warm and the thermometer are reading exactly the same. Okay, so we've got uh, the pro warm reading 20 degrees and I'm going to calibrate it against this uh, other thermometer here, which is the one which is normally used in the room. So we're calibrated at uh, just about, well, 20 degrees on a pro warm against 19.8, good enough, 20 on the uh, actual room thermometer. Now I'll switch the heating on, raise it up a couple of degrees and uh, we'll just see whether the pro warm registers the correct room temperature or whether it's still got an effect from the warmth coming from the transformer. Well, I've requested 22 degrees on the pro warm, which is connected to the underfloor heating. So we'll just see whether both of these uh, readouts uh, move uh, correctly in line with each other. So this will take us 15 minutes or so. Well, 24 hours later, after fitting uh, a little bit of insulation between the actual transformer and the uh, display or where the sensor is located we've now got stability over the real temperature as opposed to the set point on the controller itself so as you can see there we are 19.5 on the pro warm and 19.7 on the little thermometer up above so this goes to prove that the heat from the transformer was directly affecting the uh, thermistor sensor on the pro warm device. As a result, the desired temperature first thing in the morning was not being reached. However, it's been resolved and both uh, sensors are registering the same or very similar temperature. So I would advise anybody that's got one of these, uh, if they feel that uh, there's a discrepancy between uh, what the uh, pro warm is actually reading and uh, as opposed to what the uh, temperature is in reality in a space, then do what I did, try to fit a little bit of insulation. So keep that uh, thermistor sensor, uh, keep the heat away from that thermistor sensor coming from the transformer. I hope this has been of use to somebody.